Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with Casio. Uh, more specifically we've moved our way from Pro Trek and G-Shock and today we're going to be looking at an edifice or a edifice. I apologise for that. I know there's been a few comments about my pronunciation in past videos. So today we're looking at a Casio edifice EFA 120D 1AVEF. Um, I bought this from Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it cost me £72. As I say, it's something a little bit different from the usual watches that I've been getting, the, the Swiss watches, and the sort of more rugged, rugged design Casios. But I wanted something a bit more dressier, a bit nicer to wear, yet still sort of a, of a daily watch. So, anyway, without further ado, because again, I've had a comment saying that I spend far too long on my introductions. Let's get into this bad boy. Now the box here is nothing special, as you can see. Standard Casio box, and I believe the watch is straight up, so. Yep, so here we go, and as you see, it's come loose, which uh, is good. So let's take that out of the way. And just inside the box there we have, as I have come to know it, of course, the million page manual from Casio. We've also got our instructions, our warranties, our guarantees, etc. etc. So we'll put all that to one side for now. As I say, guys, um, I've not yet set this up, so it's completely new to me. Uh, you see that the tag is still on it there, that's blank. Just the model number again there. It is an EU watch. I am, of course, in the UK. You can't tell my voice. And here's the timepiece. So Sorry about the reflection there. That is the light above me. So you can see that there. So you'll see you've got a, um, a sort of digital analog hybrid face. Take that off, might be a bit better. So you can see there you've got the, uh, the blue details on the um, pusher there. And actually there's a bit of blue right in there. The entire bracelet is covered in this sort of protective material. I think, and uh, I say I don't know much about about these type of watches, but this is a fairly older model. Um, I've not seen this in the store in the UK, but I saw it online. I thought, you know, I don't own any sort of non-circular watches. So, um, excuse me, I'll just give that a clean there. So I thought, you know, I saw this, I thought, this looks really cool. This looks really great, bit of camera wobble there. I apologize about that. And so here we go. We have um, 100 meters water resistance. Um, anything else? Well, there's another another peelable label there. I'll, uh, I'll leave that on for now. Uh, you can see that in there. There's some information about, about the watch on the back. So we've got the... Um, the main crown there, which is that the light? No, I don't think it is. So you've got various modes. There we go. So, cord, timer, alarm, world time, etc. So, again, you know, the usual sort of plethora of Casio modes, not quite the amount of modes that the G Shock has. Um, or sorry, the Pro Trek, but of course this is a much cheaper watch. The bracelet, very nice. It's a, a locking bracelet. If we grab the uh, the tag off here. I'll have to adjust this, of course, to my very skinny wrists. But I'll uh, I'll do that obviously off camera. Nice little bracelet, a bit more solid than the uh, the Casio World Time that I've got, with a similar sort of bracelet on, but obviously not quite the um, the same quality and excuse me while I just have like a my first bracelet moment with this guy okay so here we are on as you can see quite uh, quite a bit of adjustment needed there I'd say probably probably two or three links uh, you know minimum so we've got that that nice bracelet there it feels solid uh, it feels a bit more solid like I said than the the world timer not quite as solid as um, I can't keep holding that upside down as you know some of the other watches but uh, for 70 
two pounds, I think this was, then it's not too bad. The um, and again, very difficult to see that because of the light. But you'll see the the hands themselves on the analog clock are illuminated. So yeah, it's sort of an easy to read at a glance type of thing. What a smart little watch. It's it's small. It's not. I mean, I haven't got a watch on for comparison because I've, I've taken it off today, but. Um, you know the watches I tend to wear tend to be sort of 50 plus mil um, and this one is clearly clearly a bit smaller than that so perfect for you know wearing perhaps with a with a shirt or or with a suit or, or you know something like that now that we're we're coming out of summer again time to sort of put on those long sleeves again uh, perhaps wearing it with that but um, yeah and you see there it's got the, the Edifice logo in there. Again, something I want to point out actually um, with this. Um, I should have really found out before, and I will find out after and I'll post it below the year this was manufactured. It looks fairly old. I, be, I think that's quite an old logo. Um, if you look at the sort of the, the watches you can buy in, in the jewellery stores, they tend to have the Edifice logo or Edifice. So again, I apologise for my pronunciation of that. They have that sort of front and centre with with Casio, you know, quite small. This big Casio logo, oh, and it's a kind of, oh, by the way, it's it's an edifice. So, yeah, um, I'd have to find out for that. Um, and again, 100 metres water resistance, so not quite as practical uh, when it comes to that as the Protrex and the G-Shocks that I've featured in my, my previous vids, or indeed the, the Swiss Divers watches. However, um, I don't go diving myself, I've said in my previous videos, uh, and so I find it very unlikely that I'm going to go wearing this, which will be wearing, you know, particularly um, only, only sparingly, only when it comes to sort of dressing. Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for the, the amount of views I've got now. Um, with the last video I made, believe it or not, I was thanking everyone, saying thanks for 5,000. We're now looking at 12,000 views, so thanks very much for that. Uh, please feel free to subscribe, feel free to like, dislike, uh, make your comments. I know there's a few of you uh, making some comments already, which is good, because uh, discussion is what you want for this channel. Coming up, we've got more games. I'm really trying to get more gaming stuff on the, on the channel. Um, Moving onwards, hopefully a couple more watches this month, depending on my budget and, uh, and what's out and what I like and what I feel like. Um, and maybe some, some different videos, who knows. Feel free to uh, drop us a comment uh, and let me know what you don't and want to see, you know, want and don't want to see. And uh, once again, thanks for all the likes, thanks for all the support. Um, I enjoy doing this just for me, really, as a, as a blog to watch, if you like. Uh, just I enjoy watches. I enjoy talking about them. Uh, my opinion may be, you know, completely different to a lot of people's, as I've discovered the last few weeks, and that's that's cool. You know, uh, my pronunciation of Tag Heuer uh, may be wrong, but there we go. So, thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.